if you're going to lie on your resume, make sure you know what lies you put on there because you make yourself look real bad if you lied and then you don't even know the stuff you even got on. That's just, you know, that's yeah, just crazy. I, 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 keep telling the, I keep telling this story over and over again because it was the one, it's the one that stick with me. We were, we were hiring for a pen tester and this dude came in out of college and he was acting like he was God's gift to hacking, man. Like he came in and was like, I, I'm proficient in everything and i'm like all right cool i'm like well this is more of a web app pen testing role and he was like that's my favorite i that, that's my preference i love web app pen testing so we're like all right cool so he comes in for the interview and um i just asked him some simple questions and he couldn't answer the questions like i asked him i said okay so explain to me how uh sql injection works now i'm not looking for you to tell me word uh letter by letter the the sql right. query but tell me how you would test to see if the vulnerability exists, right? So typically they would say, okay, I'm, I find an input box and I put in a single quote or whatever and see if it returns an error message. Or I do a union select or whatever. I look for a parameter in the URL. You know what I'm saying? Like these are certain things that you would just kind of look for if you want to test certain vulnerabilities. He couldn't tell me. He was like, I'm not familiar with SQL injection. I'm like, okay, so you're not. <laughs> you're not One you're of the easiest familiar. injections. Well, up up until up until late last year, SQL injection was the number one vulnerability in most web applications. I'm pretty so sure, a bit especially for Word WordPress stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so, so SQL. I mean, it, and I think now with the new OWASP top ten, it's number three for the web applications and number eight for APIs. But um, he couldn't answer that. So then I said, okay, well, um, explain to me some of the different features in burp suite he couldn't answer that question i said okay fine you don't know burp suite <clears throat> all right well maybe you use oas zap tell me what you can do in oas zap and the difference between oas zap and burp and he couldn't answer that so i'm like okay how are you doing web app pen testing how what are you, what are you testing for um because those two are the proxies that are the two main proxies that you would use in a web app pen test so right. immediately it was like all right cool you, you don't you don't know you don't know what you're talking about and going back to what i said earlier where some people look at that as like like blood in the water and their sharks and my co-worker started well what's cross-site request forgery or explain to me the difference between dom-based cross-site scripting and reflected cross rights and and like you know and he he felt like he was he did that because he was wasting our time but it's like these are the things that i tell people like it it helps to know these things or it helps to be honest like you can honestly sit here and say you know what? I don't know that, but give me a second to get, get, get give me a chance to, to figure it out and I get it back to you. But don't go in there and basically say like, I know everything. And then, you know, you, you can't answer a single question. Right, man. <laughs> I was trying to find a funny sound to play for that. And now it's, <laughs> everything's stupid. Like I was trying to find that, um, you know, when you down super Mario bros, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I know that had to be him right there, because I honestly don't know what people are thinking. Especially, here's me: if I was lying on my resume, I apply for the most entry level thing. People be trying to go for the for the cream of the crop roles and trying to do entry level, and I'm like, fam, like, just start off like it and and build your way there. Y'all trying to do the most with people who've been doing this, and so of course they're gonna get offended because people worked hard for it. Let me see if this works now. <laughs> but uh, uh you know we, we live we live in a time of instant gratification where a lot of people want all of the all of the perks and all of the accolades but don't want to do half of the work man uh, listen and, and and it's and it's crazy because i never thought i would be that person as like i said that's like screaming back in my day but i'm year 16 17 and and you talk about the bag I didn't make six figures about until about half, no, more than halfway into my career total. Right. Not just in cybersecurity, like because because the first half of my career was building up from help desk to tech support to sysadmin, and I didn't make six figures there. I didn't make six figures until I got into cybersecurity, and right. Actually, my my first cybersecurity role was still a shy under. It was still just under six figures. 
but um you know so many people want to just look at it like i can just get six figures and and i can do it faster than what people are telling me because that's the, you know their gatekeeping if by by, <laughs> by me telling you it's going to take you probably a good three to five years right right of solid work before right. before you before you, you you can really start seeing over six figures right and i'll say the only way you do it before then is if one you had internships two you really have tremendous value and three you have a good network yeah or because or like, like or, or you can be like some people like who found you know who found their niche and and they're just almost like savants at it like like for example if you can if you going back to what i was saying about customer service and help desk stuff and learning those tangible skills those communication skills if you can write really well and you could do technical writing or you can do grc like writing for grc and compliance stuff and you like you said getting those internships and getting that experience and having some people that can vouch for you and you can, and you have a proven track record yeah you can <laughs> you can make that you you can make it in three to five quick but when you start getting into the technical side of things you you have to take that time right you have you, you have to because when you get into those roles where like for example where you're at or where i'm at um they're paying you to know what to do in certain situations they're not they're not paying you to to spend a day googling don't get me wrong you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna google every day but they're paying you because they 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 figured you've done enough googling over time to to amass this this wealth of knowledge that's going to help them help the company succeed. Or definitely, if have, or if you don't have the answer, you know exactly where to get the answer and you know how to Google. Because that's the other thing that people don't people just look at Google or whatever, but it's a way. Yeah, there's there's a way to make it to make it work. Like I've gotten jobs, or I've gotten I've referred people who I said, you know what, they don't know this right now, but I know they can get the answer, so I'm gonna take a chance on them. Right, and like for me, I know right now I'm put I'm specifically put on the help with a project because of my previous experience with the particular software at my last company. And oh, you know how to do this and that. Oh, you've been working with you know with Phantom. Oh, cool. So, I mean, and that's the thing where like people like chase the experience uh, over the certs because that's going to take you farther. Like, yeah, you can a cert not telling you oh, I might mention sore, but it ain't telling you on the back end on how you're going to need to, you know, work with it. Look, or, you know, what I'm saying you ain't never sniffed the EDR <laughs> tool. Look, I'm going to I'm going I'm to be I'm going to be honest and, and I don't want to come off like I'm being cocky. Right. I've done enough. I've I've done enough work. And I have enough of a track record that speaks for itself that I am no longer worried about finding another job, right? And this comes with doing the work and putting in that work over time, right? Because if my company goes under tomorrow or there's layoffs or whatever tomorrow, it's gonna hurt, right? It's gonna suck, but I know within the within the, within the month. I'll land back on my feet because I have, I have the certifications, but I also have the experience to back up my certifications. You can't get that. You can't get that shortcut in your way through, through this field, right? Because it's not only the experience and the, and, and, and the, the work that you're missing out on is those connections. It's, it's, it's things that you can speak to, right? Like, it's content you can create like you're doing you have this you have your youtube channel and a blog and stuff i have a blog you know these are all things that help boost your resume and your brand because at the end of the day we all work for different companies but as cybersecurity professionals we're our own brand because we can go out and contract on our own or right. we can we can sell ourselves to the highest bidder and that again that field because of the field that we're in because of the lack of qualified talent it's to our advantage to know as much as we can and be as experienced as we can, because now we can bring that into any build, any company and say, we know our work. See, when you don't, if you don't put in the work or you don't have the experience, you don't know 
they won't know what it takes to be in a sock they don't know what it takes to be on a to, to, to do a to do a web app pen test they don't know what it takes to, to to configure network switches or any or routers or anything like that they just know what they read in a book or what someone told them and what they saw in their six months to a year so now i can walk in there and say this is what i want based on the market based on my experience what are you going to do for me 